It's here, the first 128 gigabyte RetroPie image for the brand new Raspberry Pi 3B Plus running stretch. Mmm, 13,000 titles, all working, Neo Geo, Nintendo 64, all that goodness, 13,000 titles, did I say that? Okay, so let's go ahead and peep this one out. It should work for the brand new Raspberry Pi 3 as well as backwards compatible to the old Raspberry Pi 3 as well. So a nice image to have for your collection. Booting up really nice. This is Wolfenose's image that I reviewed last week, but this one is for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, the brand new 1.4 gigahertz Raspberry Pi with that faster ethernet connection, better Bluetooth. So really, and I, from my understanding, this is the first fully loaded image, 128 gigabyte to be dropped. I am running this on a Patriot 128 gigabyte micro SD card, the file itself. This is running Motion Blue version 6, by the way, and it is backwards compatible as well. Um, but just to go ahead and right click this, properties. It's 116 gigabytes, 124 billion, 858 million bytes. Anything under 119 gigabytes is gonna fit the majority of decent 128 gigabyte SD cards. The best bang for your buck being the Samsung Select, the Sandus Ultra, this Patriot's a good one. And some other ones go on sale here and there. I did do a video on what are some of the best micro SD cards on the market, best bang for your buck. So you can check out those videos on my channel. But to get started, all games, 13,447. There we go. This is not messing around. Uh, some favorites, we'll have a look at those in a little bit. So to get started, arcade set, all up to date, all the bezels working. You have the Capcom CPS collections here, CPS 1, Capcom Places 1, 2, and 3. Uh, you got all your arcade games here, over a thousand of them. You're going to have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Simpsons, all those fun games. You can hit select, go ahead and find those games. So let's just go ahead. I know a lot of people want Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You're going to have your Mortal Kombat. So you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Uh, really nice. Uh, this theme, made by Dwayne Hurst, Comic Crazy. Really cool as well. You don't necessarily have to, Tetris 2 Plus, that game's good too. You don't necessarily have to have this 120 gig image to get it. Um, are we doing video snaps? Yes, we are. Okay, nice. So we got uh, JPEG into video snap snaps, not snacks. The snacks sound yummy though. And uh, you even got some hack games on here. You got hacks for uh, Atari. You got hacks for Nintendo and Super Nintendo and Genesis on here as well. 7,857 games. Atari Lynx 7600, Coleco, Coleco, Vision uh, 298, Daphne 3, you got the three best, I mean, you know, arguably the three best, and uh, Family Computer Disk System 1181, Famicom Disk System 79, uh, Game & Watch 55, Game Gear, Game & Watch are those games that, you know, they look like that, little portables, Game Gear 259, some hacks in here as well, some four hacks. And Game Boy, some hacks as well in there. Uh, I believe this particular image runs the Phil's Doodles bezels. Really cool loading screens, custom loading screens per system. And I believe it runs the Phil's Doodles. Let's just double check. Three, two, one. Oh, no, nice. So you get the, um, this is what I like. I like this better. The Phil's Doodles ones are the ones where just black bars. Instead of black bars on the right, you have the bezel. But this is that full bezel. This is what I'm talking about. This is my preferred. If I can have any preference for the portable systems, it's that they have the bezel that doesn't stretch the image at all, that runs it in the lower res, which um, you know I think is the way to play them. So Game Boy Advanced, nice. This is my favorite way. I mean, the bezel looks HD. It's really nice, and uh, you know I really like that. So portables all set up, loading screens all set up. Game Boy Color, and Television 181, Master System, Mega Drive 274. By the way, really easy to, to it says Mega Drive now, 
But I know some of you in the U.S., so we can change that. Mega Drive J Japanese releases. Again, in Mega Drive, you got hacks. Um, so something that wasn't done, N64 27. Here's the 27 if you want to know what that is. But as I was saying, with um, with Mega Drive, it's very easy to switch it over with uh, Motion Blue version 6, Neo Geo 139. Looks like these uh, images were fixed here. So all the images there. And you got your Metal Slugs. A lot of great games there. NES whew, 1400. Because you got a lot of unreleased and NES hacks. Neo Geo Pocket 8, Neo Geo Pocket Collar, PC Engine CD. Nice to see these games. You see games are a little bit bigger. So they're a treat to have on there. PC Engine 149 ports. You got Doom, Doom 2, Quake, and Wolfenstein 3D. Not sure if those are the shareware versions or the full versions. PlayStation 40. This is taking up a lot of this space on this 128. Diablo, GTA 1 and 2. Really nice. R-Type, Tekken, Tempest. Nice. Back to RetroPie. Um, what were we going to do? Oh, switch to the Mega Drive. Switch Genesis to Mega Drive. You just click this really quick. And uh, I do believe that um, with a particular image, a track mode is not set up. Uh, but you can easily set that up. But to go, this is a emulation station based image. But if you want to go to track mode, you would do it there. All right, cool. So now we've got 32X, Sega CD. Super Famicom, SG-1000, Super Nintendo, again, you got some hack games in there as well. And you got your your picture and then your video snap. Super Graphics, Turbo Graphics CD, Turbo Graphics 16, Vetrix, Virtual Boy, Wonder Swan, Wonder Swan Color, Atari. So this is Atari uh, Collections. So you can see there's a lot of collections here. Castlevania, Data East, boom, 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 boom. A ton of collections, right? And... Um, First off, I mean, something to notice is just this 1.4 gigahertz running really good. Um, anyways, back to all games. So if you do want to kind of get rid of some of those collections, you just go click start, AI, UI settings, custom game collection. You just want to unclick these. You just unclick all the collections, and then you won't have them. Back. Back. And then this will remove all of them. So you just have systems, for example. Um, you can also get rid of all games if you want, favorites if you want, but favorites are great. So I'm just going to go back, back, back here really quick. And uh, now we have just all games, favorites, last play, and then goes straight into systems. You can see there we slimmed up the menu system, so really easy to do. Let's see what some of the favorites are. Afterburner, Asteroids, Blades of Steel. Love that game. Uh, lots of uh, kudos to, to Wolf and O's. He knows what's up. Contra. So it's nice to have favorites, especially for those of you that maybe didn't grow up with a certain system or maybe you didn't have a big allowance so you weren't able to really check out the whole collection. So I think having favorites from the creator is awesome because it kind of it gives you, it puts you in the mind of the creator a little bit, lets them share with you like, hey, bro, these are my, <laughs> this is what I grew up with, man. You got you to gotta get in here. You got to spend some time in here. And I got to say, just looking at these titles that I've played a lot of them, You've got to spend some time in these. <laughs> um, so um, I think a game that would benefit a lot from having the 1.4 gigahertz right, is right here, NBA Jam TE. Runs a little laggy on the regular Raspberry Pi. So let's just go ahead and jump in there really quick, check that out. Because I have played it on like a computer with a high, you know, a high, uh, you know, processor. And uh, it ran great. So it's definitely the Pi that, that makes it a little laggy. So, here you go. Custom bezel, because we do have that. We do have, so Motion Blue, this is Motion Blue version 6. It has a bezel pack. And what the bezel pack does, it's already installed for you. It, um, let's insert some coins. It, go ahead and it gives you uh, the ability to change between bezels, as well as install this custom bezel pack. And this custom bezel pack is for arcades. And what it does is it, um, it allows you to, am I, am I good? Let's just pick, right. It allows you to have individual bezels for individual arcade games. Each one is different. It's a really cool little detail. That's kudos to uh, Dave and Marty. I, I don't know what my controls are, per se, but, okay, they got Oh, all right, let's see. Uh, Three-pointer. Yeah, buddy! So as you can see, this is running really well. I'm just... 
Oh shoot, wait, wait, wait. Oh, watch it goes in. Oh, shoot it up, shoot it up. Oh, it's on the ball. All right, cool. So start select out. Uh, that was running really good, and I'm not even overclocked. Um, so that was nice to see. Uh, some people wanted me to play uh, GTA. They were like, "How does somebody wrote that in the last time I showed off this image?" They're like, "How does GTA play?" Oh, here's another good game. Uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. A little laggy on the Pi. Uh, let's try it on the brand new Pi 3B+. The other thing I want to do is run some Nintendo 64 and some Neo Geo. Because when RetroPie first came out for the new Raspberry Pi B Plus running stretch, I had issues with not only Neo Geo, but also N64. So I just want to go ahead and check that out. Neo Geo was just not booting at all. In Nintendo 64, what was happening is when you... Um, there we go. And then he can throw a dart, right? I think he throws a dart. Ooh. Get him with the grenade. Grenade? Grenade it? Oh! And finish him off with the kick. Boom! Alright, cool. Um, that was actually running really good. Right, guys? This is not me. I'm not just saying, saying that. It's running really good. So, we want to test Neo Geo. And just so you know, this theme takes a lot of power. This is actually really good. And uh, that, it's, that it's catching up so quickly. I'm really just slamming these buttons and it's it's, it's getting her done all right um n64 or neo geo come on all right n64 all right so let's do super smash great game all right nice bezels as you see Alright, um, I just want to quit though really quick and just reload it because my issue with this in the past was you play it once, then you play it again, and it doesn't load. So as long as we can get this booted really quick. Nice! Cool! So that's really good to see. I was a little concerning uh, when the first one... I, I mean, I'm sure it was a simple fix. Let's go ahead and test out Metal Slug. All right, it's loaded. We can have the Metal Slug freaking bezel. Nice. Mission one. Heavy machine gun. There we go. Definitely one of those. You better be scared. I'm not messing around. Heavy machine gun. Bro. Fish. Kill a helicopter. Or die trying. We gotta go get a tank over here, guys. Okay, kill Scuba Steve. Good. Oh, you gotta watch out for the the traps. Tank. Just want to avoid the bombs. Should be able to shoot him out of here. Gas Luna. And then I think here is where you want to use it. And you get to the final boss. You shoot the final boss a lot. Try to avoid him. That's oh, what it do? I'm out of grenades. This thing's about to come up. Thank you. Oh, we killed it. And that's when the hero was born. All right, we're 
right? Ooh, this car's fast. I think you can jump this, right? There's like a jump right here. Can you drive fast enough? Oh. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Got him! We got it. We got it. We made it, boys. Alright, cool. Now we're somewhere else. We're South Fort Lodge. Alright, we gotta make this an epic GT. Oh, we got a tanker. Okay. Oh, this is how you get a tank. I watched this the other day on, uh... I watched this the other day on YouTube. I literally, I don't know, this is so weird. I was on this game, right? You get out of your car. You gotta fire, shoot at somebody. Hey! Um, yeah. All right. First I need to know my controls. How can I shoot a motorcycle just three times? Alright, where is everyone? There we go, now we got a cop. So evidently what you have to do is you have to fool the cop. Alright, fool the cop. Cop needs to get out of the car, and then we gotta run him over. <laughs> We're getting close. Oh! I got him, but we both died. So there you have it. 128 gigabyte Raspberry Pi B plus awesome image it has uh when it comes to cd based games there was definitely some that we just didn't dump all of them for example second cd has like 144 but there's just 44 here but you still get the terminator you still get the games you're going to want to play um really great image i mean when you're talking 128 you kind of got to give and take uh things that aren't on here that i've seen before are um for example psp psp minis uh dreamcast but it has everything else, I feel like, except Atari 5200. The reason why there's no Atari 5200 is because of that emulator. You need two of them. It's just a little complicated. So rather than making that, it was just to simplify that. But as far as like the best go-to uh, kind of smorgasbord, what you're going to want to see on a 128, this one's definitely going to get an A. Uh, awesome to see. This is running stock clock. You can absolutely overclock as well to get even better performance, especially for Nintendo 64. And uh, great arcade set, great console set, huge, huge, huge collection. Like I said, I love the favorites. So shout out to Wolfenos for the great work on this one and to bang it out so quickly. Uh, Dwayne Hurst for his awesome themes here. RetroPie for the front end. Uh, Dave and Marty for the Motion Blue version 6. And I'm sure all the other people that helped out to get to this point. Really, really good stuff. So highly recommended. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.